Two years ago, Carrie Ruskowski lived through one of the worst natural disasters Middle Tennessee has ever seen. Best friend, whatever, she was thinking about 9-11, and I says, no, I don't go far that back. I think of the flood for us. Homeowners near Drake's Creek in Hendersonville took on three to six feet of water, and residents feel for those in the path of Sandy. It's just that feeling of not having anywhere to go, and luckily we had some friends um, who gave us their upstairs to their house to stay at. I hope those folks are prepared for what they're going to find because it, it was very hard. During the 2010 flood, the fire and water restoration experts at SurfPro were in heavy demand. We started picking up uh, calls at 4 o'clock yesterday as it relates to uh, Sandy and um, and through today, we've we've logged over 3,000 calls, which we're on pace to break Irene's record from last year. SurfPro has 500 crews en route to the northeast. Division manager Don Turner has this advice for storm victims. If you have a roof problem, they expect you to tarp the roof so the rain doesn't continue to affect the property. Um, same holds true with, with water damage. You, you know, there's some common sense things to, to do so that you can um, protect your property from further damage. How you respond could impact insurance companies. Coverage. Most policies, um, uh, customers have an obligation to protect their property from further damage. So you want to make sure you spring into action and do that so that you know your policy is not held against you. Lastly, Turner emphasizes safety first and patience. Just like the Nashville flood, recovering from Sandy will take time.